All right, so we're getting started and the water's really cold and these fish are kind of cold shocked. But bass are opportunistic feeders. And so one of my favorite cold water lures is a, is a lizard. And it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that lizards are more active when it's cold. Uh, what it really has to do with is that this thing has got a lot of appendages on it. It comes through the water and makes uh, a pretty good uh, a disturbance and it creates a lot of action. And when it falls to the bottom, a lot of times the weight gets there first and then you reel the lure down. And what I like to do is I like to take a syringe and inject a little air into the back of the body, which makes the lizard almost stand up on its end and it kind of moves around a bit. So the way to the most effectively fish a lizard and this is something that you can do for all lure presentations where you cast to the bank. A lot of times I'll see an angler cast, as soon as the lure hits the water, they're, they're, they're raising their rod tip and starting to reel, which is making the lure fall at an angle out away from the cover. When you're fishing near the shoreline, which I'm doing right now mostly because there's a lot of, this bank is very vertical. So there's three to four foot of water right against the bank, a lot of um, dark wood. So you want to cast as close as you can to the bank and then raise your rod tip up, leaving your spool in free spool to give off a bunch of extra line. Let it fall more vertical by the bank. When it hits the bottom, what you want to do is engage it with the reel till you feel the weight. And then you want to move the lure with the rod only. You don't want to move it with the combination of the rod and the reel because that lure is just moving too fast. It's getting out of the strike zone too quick and the fish aren't going to chase it down. But if you'll just bump it along and every time you feel a piece of cover, just stop it for a second then hop it over that piece of cover, then bump it along until you feel another piece of cover, then stop it again. But you wanna keep your rod tip up as well so when the fish hits it, they're gonna to run to deep water to try to get it away from cover so that if it gets away, it can't hide. You wanna be able to reel your slack up, lower your rod down, follow the fish, and then set the hook. If you're engaged, in, in other words, if you're in direct contact with the lure and they hit it, they're gonna feel it before you feel them, and nine times out of 10, they're gonna drop the bait. So fish with your rod tip up, move the lure only with your rod, and pull off about a rod's worth of line as soon as it hits to let it fall more vertical, and then work it out away from the cover. If you start reeling immediately, you're actually uh, coming out at an angle and almost missing the entire strike zone.